everyone, it's me. So this week is very special. I was contacted by Tokyo Treat to check out one of their treat boxes, which I absolutely said yes to. So essentially they sent me this free box full of Japanese candies and sweets and all sorts of stuff that I don't know what it is. So I'm super excited. So basically what happens with these types of videos is I'll have a link in the description. If you click on that and then you decide to buy their like premium box, um, I get some money, which would be kind of cool. This is me begging you to buy one. But honestly, I'm just here because I really wanna see what kind of Japanese treats I got. This video is very exciting because it is my first sponsored video. Hashtag YouTuber um, fame, maybe? Hashtag rolling in the YouTube money. Hashtag sponsored video. Um, I picked this up this morning and it's been sat on my desk all day at work and I was just like, I really wanna just open it. Maybe I could open it and then pretend to be surprised on the video. Nah, I waited all day. And now I'm ready to open it. So without further ado, let's go. You know what? We're just gonna rip it open. Why not? I'm sitting a little bit farther away from the camera today. I can't see anything. I hope you're seeing what I'm kind of seeing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This thing is jammed packed, you guys. Jam packed. Is it safe to do it? No, it's not. Don't do that. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. All right, let's do this one at a time. Any guesses as to what that is? So yeah, basically Tokyo Treat is like a, an expat treat service. So you can buy these boxes and they'll send you all different kinds of stuff um, from Tokyo. And Lord knows, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna guess they're chips, but there's potato and there's some red, red stuff. So maybe raspberry chips. They're big bags, which is incredible. And it's completely no, no English, no cheating allowed, no cheating at all. Bro, what is that? It's got like the red flecks. They're definitely potato chips, but I don't know what the red is, but it does kind of have like a sweet taste to it. Guys, my mind is blown. I have no idea what flavor this is, and maybe when I do the description of this video, I'll actually like try and Google to see what this is, but I'm gonna give it four out of six red mysterious balls. These weird sphere looking things. Yeah, four out of six out of those things. Good, but also what a mystery. Now, I did bring a bottle of water in my backpack so I can palate cleanse. That's important in such a high quality video such as this. All right, let's do this thing next. Any guesses? Am I like a real, am I like a real YouTuber now? Check, check that out. What is it? Pineapple gum, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely got pineapple on it. It looks very fruity and fresh. I'm gonna say it's gum or some kind of like chewy candy. Take your bets now. Betting closes in three, two, one. Mmm. Mmm, girl. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. It's basically like a pineapple, like a taffy. But the pineapple like taste is so strong. That's incredible. I love it. I'm going to give this five out of five pineapples. I'm even completely overlooking the fact that it's totally stuck in my teeth. It was that good. Um, next up, we have this cute little guy. Can you guys see him? See? Maybe? So it looks like it's a... Oh, I hope I'm not gonna die. Hashtag, I'm allergic to shellfish. And there's definitely a shrimp on the front of this thing. Let's do it. 
do it anyway. Now, if I start to have a reaction, AKA I start dying, if someone could call, what's the emergency here, 999? Oh, it's like a giant. We're gonna just fully open it, all right. It's like one giant puffy, um, what's those things called? Like a ugh, cheese it. No, not a cheese it. It's got a hole in the middle too. It's such an odd shape and it's just like a puffed. You know the things that are Monster Munch, that material, but in a perfect cylinder with a hole in the middle. And it smells like ketchup and fish. I don't know, let's just do it. What is that texture called? That's really gonna bug me. You can get cheesy ones. You know, the big, fluffy, airy, cheesy puff things. That's gonna drive me nuts. This actually is pretty good. Yeah, it's like, it's like a fishy cylinder, you know? It's really light and it's not too strong, like it's not gross, but it's, it's freakishly good. I'm gonna give this three, uh, let's say three out of six uh, trips to the hospital because I'll probably need one later. Next up, okay, these little buddies, they look like um, little banana mushrooms. So my bet is chocolate and banana in a shape of a mushroom because why not and it looks like you pop you pop this out somehow uh, japan is so ahead of everybody i want to go to japan so bad that's like my next big trip oh my goodness look at there's an angry mushroom man on the inside he's telling you you got to eat the whole pack or he'll come for you. Oh, I definitely just got a whiff of banana. It's gotta be banana chocolate. Oh my God, those are so good. It's like, you know you can get those packs where it's kind of like a crackery type thing and you can dip it in the chocolate. There's like individual sealed things. So you have that as the stick. It's kind of like a sweet biscuit, crunchy, dry biscuit. And then you've got um, banana, chocolate, uh, chocolate basically, consistency. What a time to be alive. I'm gonna give the chocolate banana mushrooms and the angry mushroom man, guess what? 10 out of 10 mushrooms. A perfect score. Have we had a perfect score yet? I don't remember, but these are incredible. That's the front, again, if you guys wanna try and find those. Or you obviously can get them from Tokyo Tree, AKA buy a premium box through my link, AKA send me some money, you know what I'm saying? Wow, that's absolutely incredible. So next up, we've got a drink. You guys, they sent me a drink all the way from Japan. And guess what it is? It's Pokemon soda. I honestly have never been more happy, probably in my entire life than I am right now, you guys. I could die right now and I'd be like, you know what? I've had a good run, I'm happy, let, let me go. So this has Pokemon people on it, um, but no, there's like a picture of a peach or what I think might be a peach. So do we think it's like a peach soda? Guys, I'm so pumped. Oh, I'm getting peachy vibes. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yes, please. That is definitely like some sort of peach nectarine um, carbonated soda. Wonderful. I'm gonna give it six out of seven Pikachus. And the old school Pikachu when he was really chubby, not the new like slim Pikachu. I like the old chubby Pikachu. That's incredible. Fantastic. I guess technically I have to wash that down. Okay. Oh my God, we gotta hurry up. There's... What? 
Okay, so these look like they're all different flavors and they're all corn rings. So we've got cute girl with blue um, flavor. We got scary man with pink flavor. We got cutesy orangey thing with green flavor. And we've got this yellow happy guy with yellow flavor. So what do you guys want to try? Oh my goodness, I don't even I don't even know where to begin. Let's just start with this one on the end. I'm gonna save the rest for later, and maybe like on Patreon or something, I'll let you guys know what these other ones taste like. But I don't want to waste them all right now, you know. I gotta make it last. So the flavor we're going for is this one with this yellow guy in the yellow text, and I am so ready. I always wondered what yellow tasted like. Aw, they're cute little tiny corn rings. I honestly have no idea what that tastes like. <laughs> they're okay. They kind of remind me of quavers where they're really, really light. They almost like melt once they get wet in your mouth. These ones kind of taste like cheese. But honestly, I have no idea. No idea at all. They're all right, they're not bad. Yeah, they don't like have a super strong taste. So I'm gonna give these corn hoop thingies, I'm gonna give them one out of five unknown flavors. Because y'all, I have no idea. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. We need, to, we need to hurry up. This video is gonna be 80 million years long. Any guesses on this one? Anybody at all? Any guesses? Cause I have none. So it looks like they're um, individual packs of some kind of like sugar bread, perhaps. Is a sugar bread a thing? I don't know. Looks like there's 21. It's got 21 on the front. I'm assuming there's 21 packets. But it looks like there's something, there's this, do not open, do not make wet, keep out of children's reach. So this must be like preserving whatever these things are. It's like those little packages in your new shoes. Oh Lord, don't eat it, but, but eat this. Oh, they're like little crackers. Maybe they're like rice cakes. It's like really thin. They don't really smell like anything that I know what they smell like but it is like almost a transparent kind of cracker with like stuff on it. Oh my God, that is so good. I'm having a moment right now. I'm having a moment. It is some sort of like biscuit cracker that's almost like air, like it's really, really transparent but there's absolutely some sort of sugar type concoction on top and bottom that's really like sweet and oh my god honestly that's unbelievable and again guess what 10 out of 10 i'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 i think these are bamboo shoots because honestly i have no idea what that tastes like but it tastes like heaven god if you're there you must really like these two because it tastes like heaven. All right, so I've got sugar or something all over me. Please disregard. I'm having a great time. I hope you're having a great time. You know, order from Tokyo Treat. <laughs> Let me plug them one more time. We need to hurry up. I don't know if I want to open everything, you know, because it's going to go bad like immediately. Let's see what we have left. How about that? which is a lot. We have a squishy, cute little marshmallow looking man. Is that working? Do you see him? He looks pretty cute. We could try eating that potentially. I think it might be marshmallows, really squishy. So we have blue man. We also have happy strawberry ice cream man. Oh, you have to actually make this, so we're not going to eat this. But the instruction pictures on the back says, so this is like a tin, and you pour the sachet of pinkness into the tin, 
Apparently you put a certain amount of water in, which I don't know how much, and you stir it. And then it makes some sort of fake ice cream looking thing and you put it on an ice cream cone. Were you following along to that? It, you, you get it from this. So I'm gonna do this at another time and maybe put it on Patreon or someplace else because this actually takes cooking, if you can believe it. We'll come back to this another time. Otherwise, we can eat this suspicious brown loaf. Is that working? Do you guys see? And do you see the people on the bottom like laughing about it? It's really light, like there's nothing to it. It must just, it's like par partially air. So we could potentially eat the mysterious loaf. This is called popcorn snack. And it's got like Sailor Moon type people on the front. Very uh, anime, hashtag anime. It's got a picture of a piece of popcorn with a pink heart. So I wonder if it's like sweet popcorn. And it also looks like you get playing cards or something on the back. Maybe like a, like a temporary tattoo, it's kind of squishy. So we could potentially eat the pink pretty anime popcorn. Um, Tokyo Tree also sends you this cool thing that has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Oh, it shows you how to do the, oh, it tells you what things are, don't read that. Okay, we also have matcha milk candy. They're hard candies, matcha flavored. That's quite interesting. And that we actually know what it is. It's the only like real English on most of these things. So we could potentially have a matcha hard candy. Oh my goodness. These look like corn puff things again. And there's two little corns that are like having a good time. Um, but again, the flavor is an absolute mystery. If you guys can see that guy. We can eat the corn, mystery corn. And finally, we have this pink, um, that's upside down, pink like peel uh, candies. It looks like there's seven in this pack. Um, and there's a picture of what I think are grapes. So maybe it's like a grape, um, like chew string. Does that make sense? Can you guys see that? Yes or no? Yes, say yes or no. Can you see that? So we have quite um, a selection. I don't want to open everything because I still need to eat all this other stuff that I've already opened. So we're not gonna do we're not gonna do the the, the make your own ice cream because that takes time. Let's save these little ones for. Well, you know what? Let's do the suspicious brown loaf because I have a good feeling about this very unattractive piece of food. And plus the two faces on the front that are like laughing at you. I want to know what they're laughing about. So take your guesses as to what you think this flavor is. Chocolate is too easy. It's got to be something else. Oh, I'm kind of nervous now. Oh, it feels not very nice. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no. So this is like an air filled thing, rectangle. And it's got this hard, thin coating that's like a, some kind of, it's not very nice. I'm gonna do one more bite just for you guys. But after that, no thank you. That is so strange. I don't know what that flavor is. It's kind of chocolatey, but not. I'm gonna give mystery brown loaf zero out of five mystery loaves. Zero out of five mystery loaves. I'm just not into it. But maybe you will be. Let's put that away. Now, I think the last one that I want to do is this purpley pink candy thing. Cause I think it's individually wrapped. It looks like there's seven. Cause I think, I, I wanna save these maybe for another thing. So let's go ahead and try the pink strings. You know? Nice, they are individually wrapped, solid. Okay, smells interesting. So there's like all these arrows. You gotta open it, I got it. Oh, well, maybe I don't. And it's this tiny little pink 
Come on out. It's all right. It's, it's your time to shine. Don't be shy. Can you see that? And there's these tiny little um, lines in it. I don't know if you can peel them. Yes, you can. Oh, matey. That is so good. It kind of tastes like, a, you know, purple freezies for my Canadians. Just a run-of-the-mill purple freezy, but like a really strong, strong, strong grape flavor in this like stretchy pink thing. That is so sweet. That's so fantastic. I'm in love. I'm going to give these um, hmm, six out of seven pink strings. Top notch quality stuff. Okay, real quick, I, my camera's gonna overheat, <laughs> of course. Um, the book actually tells you what the stuff is, um, which is cute. So the thing we just ate, the pink strings, is definitely um, stretchy grape gummies. We knew that, that's cool. The pineapple chew is um, the same thing. It's a high chew. This is, it comes in the popular tangy and sweet Okinawa pineapple flavor. Wonderful. Now the mushrooms that I love so much, Mushroom Man of Mushroom Town. These are Kineto no Yama chocolate banana. Banana is a love fruit in Japan, especially at festivals. This is blah, blah, blah. The sweet cocoa cookie topped with two layers of chocolate helps create this delicious sensation. I am all on board. Now we also tried the fluffy corn puffs, which I didn't really like that much because I couldn't really taste them. But it says the snack is the perfect treat to pair with an animated film. A Anapanaman is a popular character throughout Japan and he brings you these slightly sweet air corn puff snacks. Okay. Yeah, sure. We also had, um, oh, it was mango. Mango Pokemon Soda. That's very sweet. I loved it. Thank you so much, Pokemon. I appreciate you. Okay, now my favorite, um, the, these crackers that I didn't know what they were, that were really sweet. These are Kineto crackers. Need a few wrapped snacks to take to the theater? These rice crackers are coated with sweet Kineto or roasted soybean powder. Every bite inserts a delightful smile can be seen on your face. So it's so roast, roasted soybean powder on a rice cracker. And let me tell you, it's divine. I don't know how you make that fantastic, but it's so good. And also we had, remember these pink crackers that I didn't know what they were? These are Kelby Kishu Plum Chips. These savory chips by popular brand Kelby use potatoes, and a yummy, tangy, Japanese kitchu plum flavor. That's where the sweetness is coming from, it's plums. Oh my god! The gross brown loaf, if you're interested, that was a brown sugar traditional wheat puff. So it's coated literally just in a sweet brown sugar coating and it's a puff snack. And I'm not down for it, that's alright, not for me. And we also had the one that's going to send me to the hospital at the very beginning, that puff snack. That was a shrimp mayonnaise unabo. So yeah, it's literally just a shrimp mayonnaise puff snack. I'm allergic to shrimp. Hey. But no, actually it was really good and I'm probably going to eat the rest of it. Because you know what? You only live once. So knowing what I know now, the chocolate... Um, banana mushroom thingies and the soybean crackers these are incredible and I absolutely love them so so good and if you are able to get um, a Tokyo treat box and you can get these in them oh my god you're living the high life I also really loved the what we now know as mango soda and the grape peel thingies fantastic both were very sweet and wonderful and lovely i gotta say plum chips incredible i love them let's have one for the road the pineapple chews were really nice super sweet absolutely getting your teeth but wonderful i'm gonna throw these in my purse when i need a snack you know what i'm saying only ones that i didn't really like 
Um, the shrimp thingy was okay. Actually, you know what? That was all right. I did like that one. The only ones I didn't really like was the traditional sugar puff loaf and these hoops. Hey guys, so my camera just died because it's getting too hot and I don't know how this is gonna, long this is going to last and I don't know if all the stuff that I filmed just disappeared. But what I wanted to say was all this stuff was really fun. Most of it was absolutely delicious and I wish we could get it here in England. But at least now I know where I can get it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do want to check out Tokyo Treat, check out my link um, and see if you can get something cool because honestly it was really fun and I am full of sugar now. Honestly though, those these mushrooms, the soy thingies, the plum crisps, incredible, just incredible. And I'm so happy and I'm so full of food and I'm so glad you guys um, are watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it, you know, that's all really. Thank you so much to Tokyo Treat for sending me this stuff. Um, I'm gonna be thoroughly spoiled now. And life is never going to be the same again. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye. What if I just eat it all right now?